Hi, I'm Jason Lawler from uh, LawlerGuitars.com and um, we're going to take this um, Epiphone SG copy that originally had humbucker pickups in it and we're going to convert it over to a P90 style and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. This is an Epiphone that one of the guys in the shop uh, bought brand new, $400 and I had him take everything off of it, all the electronics, the bridge studs, um, so I can put a, uh, a jig on here so that I can, I can route this for P90s. Um, so we've taken it into the uh, machine room of all our guitars, uh, where we do all of our uh, woodworking and metalworking. And we're going to do it right now for you. So, as you can see, this is routed for a humbucker, standard humbucker. It came with this humbucker pick guard. This is a P90 soap bar cover, and we're going to mount this in here. And you can see that the route, the existing route, is a little bit wider, but it's not quite long enough to take a, a P90 soap bar. While we're talking about that, um, there's also something called, we call it a uh, a batwing P90 mount. You know, what it is, Gibson on a few of their guitars, uh, on a few of their uh, their uh, SGs with the batwing, this is called a batwing um, pickguard for obvious reasons, looks like Batman. Um, instead of screwing the uh, pickup into the body, like most P90s, they made a, a, a bracket that screws underneath the P90 and there would be a height adjustment hole on each end of the P90 where a screw runs through, goes through the pick guard into a, a threaded base plate like this, and it's just like a humbucker basically. You, you screw the, a machine screw and it lifts the P90 up and down in the slot. But that's, that's just a lot of extra hooey. Um, and most people like the sound of the P90 screwed directly into the body uh, rather than using this bracket. So, if you have a uh, existing P90 guitar and you can see a little screw on each end of the pickup, that means it needs a batwing bracket. And we do make those, we don't advertise them. Uh, they came in a few different spacings, so we need to know the, the distance between those two uh, height adjustment screws to be able to make you this batwing bracket. So, we've taken everything apart. I need to route out these holes a little bit and I use uh, a router like this with something called a rub collar. There's a couple different ways to, to do this. The rub collar the rub collar is slightly bigger than the than the uh, router bit so you need to make your jig slightly bigger than you want it to actually wind up being about a sixteenth bigger overall and that rub collar routes or that rub collar uh, rubs on the jig the other way to, that it's done is some, they'll put a, a, a bearing attached to the uh, to the router bit and the bearing itself spins freely uh, doesn't spin with the bit and the bearing would rub against the jig and the bearing is usually the same size as the uh, the router bit so I use a rub collar if you need to get a jig made we uh, we will make these jigs um, we need to know if you're using a rub collar or a, a flush bit and I have a pick guard that I've pre-made that fits the Epiphones um, so I'm going to screw this jig down into the same holes that hold the, uh, the pick guard down. So, this uh, plexiglass plate that, got, that the uh, router bit rides against is quarter inch thick. And once I screw that down, you'll see that the, uh, the fingerboard's sticking up just a tiny little bit taller than, the, uh, than this jig. So if I was trying to rub, if I was trying to run my uh, router over the top of it, it's going to hit that fingerboard. So I need to raise it up a little bit with this shim here. Yeah, that's what this shim does. 
So then all I have to do is screw this back down. There's different ways you can do this. You can use a, a, a adhesive tape and hold your jig down with the adhesive tape. And this is kind of an elaborate jig compared to what most people would have, but we have some elaborate tools that we can make stuff like that really easily. The routing on these pickup holes is actually deeper than it needs to be for a P90. And we're going to have to make some little wood blocks to go in there. Uh, that the pickup screw into because they're, they're, the routes are too deep. But we'll get to that. You're going to want your neck pickup about three quarters of an inch deep so that you can adjust it all the way down into the body. Here's your, this is your angle of your neck. So you can see your neck pickup is going to have to be lower and your bridge pickup can stick up higher. See how you got more clearance towards the bridge, but it's limited at the neck. So we're going to go about three quarters of an inch deep in the uh, neck and we're going to go, oh, maybe three eighths deep at the bridge. And that should give you enough clearance. So I'm going to set my router. I'm not going to take the whole route in one pass. Uh, I'm going to set my uh, router for three quarters deep plus a quarter of an inch to allow for the uh, the jig. So I'm going to set this bit so it'll go one inch deep. I'm going to unplug it just so I don't want to hurt myself. We're almost at eighth. We're, we're almost at inch there. This is a little stopper that when you plunge the router down, it'll it'll stop the uh, router from going any deeper. You should know about that if you're going to go ahead and do this kind of work. If you don't know how to run the tool, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Um, so there's an inch. I'm not going to cut all of it at once, of course. I'll do it in a few steps. Probably a good idea to not have that sitting on top of the guitar when I plug it in, just in case it's on. In case the switch is on, I'll hold it when you plug it in. So if it was on, you'd have a good grab of it. I like to use ear protection. So I'm going to grab that. Okay, so here we go. these little corners out down to about three quarters deep. 